we are in Dubai for a massive, massive encounter between Papua New Guinea and Kenya. It's going to be interesting. It could be nerve-biting. Got him. The early breakthrough has come. Gone. Another one, another one, another one. PNG in all sorts of trouble. Got him. Oh, what a morning. My goodness, Kenya are rolling over things here at the Dubai International Stadium. Five wickets in the first three overs. Another one. Emmanuel Bundy is having the game of his life. There he goes again. That's on the third stand. What a way to go to your first T20 International 50. Papua New Guinea won't bat out their overs, but they had a really good rally towards the end to eventually make 118. You have to feel for PNG, is the magnitude of the situation just too much for them at the moment? Kaya puts his finger up, and already an early breakthrough for Papua New Guinea. Irfan Karim threatening to take the game away from PNG. Straight to mid-wicket. Brilliant, brilliant. Bowled him. They had their little blip this morning, but they're fighting back. Stumps messed up and all over the place. Through him, and that ends it off. Papua New Guinea finished the group stages with a victory and possibly could be seeing themselves through to Australia. Massive consequences for both yeah. these sides. Netherlands want to finish on top, but they need a monumental win to do it. Excellent take in the deep. I'm going to say that the Netherlands will do it. Preston says no. The target is 131, but if they do it in 12.3, they will top the group. And it's gone a long, long way. A six and a four now in the over, so they're still going for this. Wow. Catches the cry, catches the cry. Yes! Another one gone. Yeah, come on. Yeah! Finger goes up and chairs down there because their trip to Australia is guaranteed for the first time in their history. Papua New Guinea will be appearing in the T20 World Cup in less than a year. We knew 2020 was our format and to come here and achieve this is, is just a dream come true.